morning again, guys. So this morning there's a nice sunset, sunset, sunrise. Look, there's there's no nice sunrise this morning. But I have just seen the weather forecast. Like I'll literally just wait and just to see that before I rush out because I've literally got like five minutes till the tram. So I'm kind of rushing a little bit. But yeah, I just see the weather forecast for tomorrow, and it's supposed to be such a nice day. It's like a nice day now, a nice morning. Everything's dry. Some stuff's frosty, but at least it's a decent day. It's supposed to be a really nice day tomorrow. It's supposed to be the best, best day we're gonna have this weekend. So hopefully everybody's out, like I mentioned yesterday. Uh, so far, the entire Curb Crusher team's out. We're just waiting on what Pitts is saying. Depending if he's got plans with his wife or not. If he has, we'll just. We'll work around it and find something else, but at the minute the entire team is out of skating, so uh, fingers crossed. It warms up a little bit than this, but bear in mind it is 7 o'clock and it's pretty cold. But we'll see. Hopefully it warms up a little bit more. And uh, we've now let's get this short 9.5 out of the way, or 9.4, so I get back in, chill out and uh, get ready for tomorrow. So again, another tram broke down. It's three days running now. I've been on the tram and it's broke down. Which now means I got later into town, which means I missed the commencement tram from town to work. So now I have to wait like 15 minutes in the cold because the tram broke down again. The only really like good thing is it's still pretty early, so I'm not really like gonna be late for work or anything. So I still have 15 minutes to wait, I think. So instead of just waiting at trap stop, I might as well walk up. But it's a decent day, or a decent morning. Because technically I can't really say a decent day yet, can you? Because it's still like half seven. But it's freezing. It's decent, but freezing. So I don't fancy standing around, so I'm gonna walk up and kill some time. So it's going to be a little bit of a touchy subject and I kind of don't really want to say much about it but I just feel like I need to say something because it's kind of pissed me off a little bit. Fuck the, that kid who shot up all his classmates, literally his classmates in Florida. Like fuck him. My thoughts go out to like all the like kids and like, parents and everyone yesterday. Like. Literally their families and friends like my thoughts back to them guys because it's horrible. I've literally just seen a tweet from someone towards Donald Trump saying like uh, Donald Trump says something like his thoughts and prayers back to the families. You know, this tweet said, fuck that. Like instead of saying these things, why don't you just control gun crime a little bit more? They did a kid with mental health issues a gun instead of help, like instead of giving him a gun, actually give him help. Like Donald Trump, you seriously need to start controlling gun crime, mate, because this kid went back into his own school, his own classmates, and shot up seventy of them. He hit the fire alarm and made them run into the corridors and kill them all. Seriously, they need to sort it out. Because you're giving a kid, like I've said, with mental health issues, a gun. Give him some help. That's all he needed was some help, not a gun. Like end of the day there's the it's the wrong way to go about it like literally give the guy some help maybe like help wouldn't have helped him but instead of him having a gun in his hands he would have had some help in his hands instead and everything might have been completely different but yeah just what I just say because it's just horrible to see this is just to see on the news like Loads of kids just generally getting shot up. It's horrible. Like I've just seen a video on Facebook as well of uh, some kid in one of the classrooms. Literally, I think it's a Snapchat video, a live Facebook feed, hiding in one of the classrooms and just I did a terrorist like mock thing last year, which is something I wasn't allowed to vlog. Uh, and they had fake ammunition, but the noises were real and the sounds were real. And just watching that video of the sounds of the guns 
knowing that that actually is real is pretty more terrifying for me to watch the video. But like I said, fully want to say, Donald Trump seriously needs to sort this out. Like, like I said, the kid needed some help. Maybe he needed more than help, but he didn't really need a gun in his hands. That is the last thing they needed to do. But they didn't. They give this guy, or this kid, a gun, and he's gone in and shot up all his friends. Just literally classmates he shot up. Kids that have only just getting a start in life, really. Like, they would have left school and found a start in life, but now they haven't. But yeah, it's just pissed me off a little bit how, uh, how they can just give a kid like that a gun. Or how did a kid like that get a gun in the first place? But yeah. It's pretty annoying. And also, according to what I've just seen on the news on my way in, uh, and in the papers, I'm not sure if it's true, like, I can't hold the papers to be telling the truth or not, but according to the papers, the FBI and stuff knew a lot about this kid, uh, saying he was blagging on YouTube about how he's a professional shooter. If they knew this, why not chase him up? Because like, if he's got a YouTube channel, it's obviously he can chase them up. Like, anyone can chase my YouTube channels up. Everyone can chase anyone else's up. Why not chase them up and actually give this kid some help? That's all I'm trying to strongly say is the kid needed help. Like, maybe he needed more than help, but like I said so many, so many times already, he needed more help than actually putting the fucking gun in his hands. And I don't know how he got older a gun, but he didn't need that. So, he seriously, Donald Trump needs to start sorting some shit out in America really because it's not changing much because a lot of people have been uh, schools have been shot up and people have been shot up for the past years like the Vegas thing as well it's crazy but for now I'm heading to work because I'm getting absolutely freezing so I'll see you guys in a few hours time well that's work finally over now I can enjoy the rest of my night off and tomorrow might go and fly the drone again depending if it's uh, still like that yeah depending if sorry I work just trying to buy someone from work. Yeah, depending if it's still light when I get home, which is not looking likely because it's still light. Winter, spring time, and the sun's going down already, so I don't think it's going to be light there. Yeah. But if it's still light or not too dark for the drone, I think I'll fight against later. Get a bit of practicing ready for wherever we end up tomorrow, which we're not sure yet where we go. But for now, I'm going to hurry up and get home before rush out fully kicks in. Well, I'm finally home. I'm proper debating about flying the drone. Why not? Because it is pretty dark, but it's not cold. It's the thing. The only way thing is, it is actually dark. <laughs> I don't want to lose it in the dark, which is, like, really not likely at all. Because one, it's got lights. Two, you can't really lose it because it just comes back to you when you send it back to you. And I'm in control, so I can't even send it that far away. And that noise is really annoying. But I kind of just, I want to save the battery for tomorrow really, I just don't want to use it and then have to recharge it again for tomorrow. And two, I want to save my batteries for tomorrow because I'm exhausted. <laughs> I just really just want to chill that night, like literally the only night I've really had off this week and I just want to chill out, ready to skate tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to have a night in. I have been invited to go out, but like I said, I'm not drinking, which is not going to stop me going out. But like I said, I've been invited to go out into town because someone from work has won like a free entry group thing to Beer Keller where we ended up for the staff night out. But uh, I just kind of want a night in, so I think it's literally just going to be a night in for me. Literally bath, bottle and bed. Well, since I've got nothing else to do tonight, just chill out and really relax ready for tomorrow. I'm going to get around to setting this up and then I can relax for the rest of the night and just watch TV. So yeah for now. So we board up and we put a bath on and just chill out for the rest of the night. Literally just have a night in. <laughs>
and it's done. I think I might actually use this one for tomorrow and put my trucks and stuff on it. Which means me going downstairs to get them. I'll see, I'm thinking with a bit about using my old one, I'll put this brand new one on tomorrow. We'll see, but it's a good job I'm not working because I'm covered in dust. But yeah, it's a bit now to use that one or not. But I'm gonna go and get some else to eat and then make up my mind. But I'm gonna have to move all this crap because I made a bit of a mess. Yeah, I made a lot of mess. But yeah, I'll get some to eat and then I'll get to bear that. I have. Is my camera blur? So my. Uh, it just. So just my camera smuggled. Hey right, guys, my uh, my other camera, the Nikon, has just somehow fully just packed in. So I'm back to the Sony for the time being. But I have got insurance on it. I paid for extra insurance, and it's under warranty. So. It's going to get taken back in the morning. It's all boxed up, ready to be taken back. Because I want it fixed, or at least a brand new camera, before I go away in, like this out, uh, 12 at 9. I've got a thing on here. If I go away in. 20 days. I go away in 20 days. So I want it fixed and brought back within 20 days. It normally takes about a week or more. But like uh, my dad just said to me, it's under, like literally still under guarantee. So hopefully I get a brand new one sent out, or at least it gets fixed, and uh, I'll have a new camera for Florida. But for now, I'm stuck with the Sony. But not fearful. This camera's not even broke ever. But you can tell the quality difference. But let you look, this drawer is just a graveyard. There's just like broken cameras and stuff and things in here. But we've got this camera, I'm gonna charge it up now and then just get that uh, to get in the bath. Which I was gonna do until literally the camera packed in, it just stopped. No, it won't even turn on or anything like that. It just literally turned on, went blurred, went off. So uh yeah. That kinda sucks. So yeah, another camera needs repairing. But for now, like so, I'm going to edit the vlog, get a bath and just chill out because now I'm really pissed off. So, thanks again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow as always. What is my game over here? It's chilly now, huh? We're moving up to 